Okay. Let's get started here. First, I guess, to introduce the fact what I'm doing. I've been promising for quite some time to do a, uh, a tricopter build. And, uh, I'm going to take my prototype tricopter, which is this little guy up here that I've been working on, and I've got 14 flights out of. And I told people I would actually do a teardown because the parts, the pieces, and parts that I'm using for this are going to go to the, uh, the non-prototype, I should say. Well, it's kind of a prototype too, but anyhow, this is going to be a teardown video, basically gonna do is just uh, disassemble everything get ready get rid of all this old crap use what I can on my new tricopter because everything in here still works good basically all I'm gonna do is uh, change that to this with carbon fiber booms instead of wood so what I want to do is go ahead and do a disassembly first so everybody can see what's involved. There's not a whole lot. Basically all I need is a pair of cutters. Maybe a pair of needle nose, a screwdriver. Um, what else did I have over here that I need? I don't see it here. Let's get started. Take this all apart. I guess I'll start by disconnecting the motors. Sorry about the shadows, but my lighting sucks in this room. Okay, there's that motor's loose. Servo. Oh my god, I, I soldered that servo. Let me see extensions on it. It's okay, I got a new one for it. Get rid of all the zip ties. It holds everything together. I'm going to do this in sequence. Careful not to cut any wires. loose that was loose let's go through and cut all the zip ties Oh, this thing flew so nicely. I, I hate to tear it apart. I really do. I'm sorry about the poor lighting. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this. You. Plug you. Okay. Do that hang. Get rid of this zip tie. So all my speed controls are loose now. pin there you push on right there and right Okay. Transmitter. 
Okay, let's get rid of the cover. Yeah. Throw a lead. Oh my no. Accidentally got glued there at one point in time when I was uh, gluing the landing gear on. Hey, have to be careful with that one. And there's some more zip ties right here. Okay, let's disconnect these speed controls. There's one. I wonder if I should mark those the one I assembled it will already be set. one out. Okay, so that's the right, left, and rear. Okay. Let's uh, see if I can get that loose without ruining the wire. There we go. And go in here. KK2 board. Take the servo loose right there, which is the rudder servo. Let's uh, do these. Okay. Channel locks that'll work. Everybody, one of these is left and one of these is right. Okay, so that's the right hand thread. Those are left hand threads. Yeah, I'm bleeding. I actually cut myself on these props, just tor torquing on them. So you can tell you how sharp they are. Interesting. Okay, so I can get rid of this. Get rid of this motor. This motor and then this back motor. Servo. Unplug all of this. I'm gonna have to redo the whole board anyhow. So all my extensions. And there's my camera link. Get rid of that for now. Cut it without.
jumpers to my receiver and my uh, power to for my uh, and my buzzer and you see where it broke last time I crashed it There's my KK2 board. Can I get it off there without ruining something? Hmm. Could do some prying on that, I think. Okay, what I need to do. that antenna loose from that piece if I remember right it's shrink tubing yeah I cut this one off right here okay so there's my receiver antenna dipole so I need to be careful Go. Cameras cleaned up. Unplug these. Antenna jumpers. The short ones and the long ones. Everything else is unplugged. Let's pull the receiver off there. Put it aside. Yeah, I think I. That in. I want to get it out of there now. Anyhow, let's uh, clean it up. piece right here. Everything else is going to go away. Almost got it. Let's clean up this wood. Need that on there. Or that, or that. All that stuff's done served its purpose plenty. So, I'm going to 
I'll put that in my scrap pile of stuff. A couple screws there I want to take. And that there I'm going to hang on to. So I'll tell you, I'll just take and put this in the... Yeah, let me take them screws out first. She is. She's over there. Anyhow, there you go. We get an inner look at the inner workings. It's just a matter of putting it all in the right places. Okay, so basically this is going to be the new one. And instead of the wood booms, I have already got started. It's going to be here. Here. This I think is going to solder directly to the board. The speed controls. I'm going to put bullet connectors on here. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up and I can start doing an assembly and I'll videotape some of that too as well. But right now I just wanted to disassemble everything, clean it all up. I'm going to double check everything. So there you have it. You'll get a chance once I start. I'll start mounting the booms. I'll start videotaping again. As soon as I get, I got to build a power distribution board for this, and I got to kind of figure out where my speed controls are going to go because I'd like to put them inside. I really would. I don't know if there's going to be enough room. They're awful big speed controls. Maybe I'll build a platform underneath or something. I don't know yet, and I haven't decided how I'm going to do that, so after I get a few design ideas up and running and working the way I want to put it together, then I'll start doing an assembly on it. And anyhow, there you have it. That's what I'm going to be doing for the next, you know, two, three weeks maybe. I should cover it.